This is the clockable SD delay mode on the Disting Mark IV. This is very much like the ever popular clockable delay mode, um, which the Disting has had since the Mark I, except rather than using the processor's own RAM for the delay, this uses the SD card as um, external storage, which means the delay time can go much longer. At the moment, it can go up to about 95 minutes, which should do you, I would say. Um, so let's just play something through it. Nice little piano. So as the normal clockable delay, S is the, uh, X is the signal input, Y is the clock input. You can also tap tempo on Z. A um, and B are the outputs. Um, Z is the feedback. So let's just tap tempo something a bit quicker. The feedback goes above 100% for that kind of dub kind of stuff. Um, but let's do what you can't do on the other delay, which is to have a really long delay. So say from here to there. Just let the previous stuff fade out. Play something new. And now there's a parameter for the maximum feedback amount, uh, which at the moment is set to the default 125%. If I put that down to 100, and then I can make my feedback up to exactly 100. So if I play something, I get a loop, which isn't gonna fade out, which of course I can then play other stuff into. fade out. So there you go, it's it's the clockable delay echo, um, it's got the same parameter for delay time multipliers as the other one used to have, um, except it uses the SD card now, um, which means you can have super long delays, uh, which is something I personally very much enjoy. So there you go, there you go clockable SD delay on the Disney Mark IV.